<coughs> shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Rakaf I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching this truth time and time again, showing us to be men, men of the Lord. And I want to say all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Rakaf And um, just going on to like a couple of articles, just a quick lesson. I head to the work. I'll just. I'm going to start off with a scripture because there's a lot of things going on. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. The devils come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have a short time. So he knows that now he sees the prophecies. They said, measure the time diligently as we speak. So he said, how should we know? As he called... Uh, uh, the Pharisees, hypocrites, when they can admit, they can measure the times and skies. So we have these news people that can tell you that it was going to be rainy or snowy today, but but now you can't measure the prophecies and things that were going to come. Even if elders and apostles went in, that if you Google who's the daughter of Babylon, in which that's in Bible prophecy throughout all the Bible, would be just. Harshly, thermonuclear destruction, that's what they call hell, um, is America. You can Google it. So now they know, and they, they're they scared. Judah has been a terror to them. So I have a couple articles, but let me just grab the scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. And why do they call Babylon the great uh, spiritual Sodom? Because of the mess they put forth. Heat was burning the heat and lust. So that's why you see so many of the Transformers and people that Love the same sex, which is punishable by death. And everyone that maketh men mention unto Judah, which is that's the southern kingdom, um, which they said he was going to get the tents of Judah first. And everyone that made mention thereof shall be afraid of him because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he determined against them. So that's why all these things happen. Uh, uh, and why they're putting forth these policies they're putting forth. So what policies I'm saying? Because even the elders and apostles said that a black swan theory is going to happen. And that's a, a metaphorical describing an event that comes as a surprise in a major event. The elites know because they have put a diligent search. So this is the scripture. Uh, Facebook ramped up. They're pretty much, they say Christian content. Christian is... Ashiachium, not the modern day Christianity because it's fake, but uh, but uh, content label it as hate, and they're taking it off of all Facebook metaverse. They said, uh, this is a thing that he called it a year of uh, purpose or a year of something, something that he said that he's going to really, uh, oh, productivity. Facebook has been in the spotlight once again after its recent deletion of Christian content labeled as hate speech. The latest incident was brought to the attention by a Faith Wire journalist, Billy Holloway, who was a former Blaze writer. Holloway, a Christian, exercised his religious freedom by posting on Facebook, Jesus, so died you could live. However, despite this post reflecting on one Christian core beliefs, Holloway quickly discovered that his post was only, I mean, not only deleted by Facebook, but he was excused of spreading hate speech, you know, because anyone knows that it's like you can't mutilate yourself and, uh, and say that you're a, a different sex from what you're born if the Bible is applied or you can't do drag shows in churches or in high school. I appeal, but whatever, what love world, 
Holloway went to Twitter and speaked out on the incident, backed up by screenshots and comments stating that the incident was very, very bizarre. Um, even uh, as a, a Christian pastor, uh, Franklin Graham warned a coming storm on Jake that people uh, that uh, teach the work. He said it's a coming a judgment and on I me, mean, not judgment, but like a storm, like attack on people that speak the truth, people that do things that um, are not very liked to the world. So they're, they're making for of all these social media stopping, able uh, people to just speak freely about the evilness that have people have, have said. This is, but that's prophecy too. This is Isaiah 29, verse 21. And that make a man a offender. To sin, miss. So it's causing a sin to speak the truth. A sin in Esau, Edom's kingdom. Miss the way gone wrong. Occur guilty. Forfeit, purify, uncleanness. You know, so they say a bare loss is to make guilty a person that is to make them guilty. Saying, "Look at to speak the word of truth, to, 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 to tell them that hey, man, we're we're just gonna do whatever we feel like. We're not gonna care anything you say, and lay a snare for him that a repute for the gate, and turn aside the just for for a thing of not." To look at it in the NLT. For who convinced the innocent by the false testimony will disappear. A similar fate awaits those who use trickery to prefer justice and who tell lies to destroy the innocent. So they're saying, and so now you're going to start putting forth things like, yeah, they're killing people. They're, they're like, you know, Biden just said about the, uh, Biden just talked about white supremacy. But what are they trying to line it up to? The elders and apostles, uh, even the elder, uh, uh, Salakia, uh, Yashawamba said that they're gonna try to link us to a Christ, uh, um, to a Muslimism, like, uh, uh, Islam, and then also white supremacy, and, and to make it just and, and pervert the justice and say that, oh, you're guilty, you're put in, and then it said that we should not even talk. So, Facebook is always the first one to do everything because that's like the biggest platform. Your grandma even uses fucking Facebook. But when Tinder speaks out on this incident, backed up by screenshots and a comment, Holloway stated the co uh, following Facebook appeal process assumed mistake would be corrected by a course, and it wasn't. According to Holloway, Facebook moderators reviewed the post and stuck it to claim that it was hate speech. Uh, see, very, very bizarre. Appeal of Facebook. And he's a another one, Franklin Graham. He has been getting up, but he's just a popularity preacher. But ultimately, this is bringing forth one thing. Let me just uh, get this real quick. Because the Lord said it, He said. Uh, Amos chapter 3 verse 4 will a lion roar in the forest and will he when he has no prey and will a young lion cry out of his den if he has not been taken so Christianity is because look at it. they see the evilness of the world and so is he not uh, even are the men of the Lord we're, we're crying because do you not see uh, he has no prey, he's starving. Is a young lion cry out of his den if he has taken nothing? Can a bird fall in the snare upon the earth with no gin? Is it for him? Shall one take up a snare of the earth and have taken nothing out? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? So the Lord said it was coming. Are you going to be afraid? He said he's blowing the trumpet. He's showing you telltale signs. And are you not going to be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done? So the Lord is really doing it for a scourge of amendment. It's saying the second Ezra, I believe the 16, 15 chapter, but one of those. There shall be evil in the city, and the Lord has done it. Surely God will do nothing, but he revealed the secrets 
unto the servants his profits. And what what is he about to do with his prophets, with the ones that have all the secrets? This is Amos chapter 8. This is what the faith is doing, because you know, Esau is the sword of the, uh, the Lord. Behold, the day cometh, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the word in the Lord to see. He's going to get forth and uh, hide his prophets. Because... This family of the world, this all this stuff is because they need to set up their MOTB system. And they need to arrest and certain people that are not down with the system. That's why I started off with this scripture. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in it. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. The devil has come down unto you a great wrath. Having me, uh, have me coming down onto you having great wrath because he knows if he have a short time. He knows that he has been founded. He has been made bare. Esau has been made bare. Um, so he has to put forth and put forth these laws that are not profitable onto even himself. And that's why, because right now, after all the things that have been happening with the C1, C1, you know, what the number that comes after, I mean, before 10, uh, juicy juice to untreatable eye clocks, problems with babies and all that stuff. So now they see that when they were doing that, the information was put in forth that they made medical misinformation now. And they're bringing forth a new, uh, uh, you see, you see the thing, new for P, you know, P, uh, image. You know, because of all these things, but look what has, what has happened. And then all these other things that are coming, like, um, the FDA suggests internet should be, go off this week, which is a family word. So U S senators give, are given, uh, 50 U S senators are given, uh, satellite phones. And I believe senators is only two per state, so that's half of them. Three tons of ammonium nitrate going missing. Another thing. So all these things is so they all right, we gotta just make these these people who's what they call useless eaters, which is not The world, I mean, the world should be prepared to respond to a disease outbreak even daily or potential than the C, you know, you see that C, the vid, the sheep, one, um, a number that comes after eight, and head the, and the head of the WH, uh, who, who, like, uh, what a, a owl says, said after the UN agency launches, uh, a, a, lo, uh, a global network to monitor disease threats. And the speech in the, you know, the WHA in, in Geneva, Switzerland on Monday, uh, the, the director of the, uh, you know, who, uh, Teradon Adam Gerbasium warned that the end of C, uh, you see it as a global health emergency did not mean the global health threat was over. The threat of a another variant emerging causes new surge of disease and death remaining. And he told the annual discussion making a meeting of the uh, the H O 190 minute status. You know, it's coming even deadlier. They said it's gonna be like, oh yeah, it's not. We might got immunity to that, but we have tons of shit we can create to make it sicker. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Because, but the Lord said all this stuff was going to come. He said, He said, the prophets before me prophesied things of old, of war, of pestilence, of disease. I believe this is. Let's go scripture. Let me see. I'm not, I don't remember. And the sword is without the pestilence and the famine within. So there was a war out. Slakia. 
this is not the scripture I'm looking for. Bear with me. Oh yeah, it's 14, Salafia. 14 verse 19, Salafia. Or if I send it passes into the land and pour out the fury upon it and blood to cut off men and beasts. The Lord is killing. So you see the pestilence are going around with animals. You see this new uh, molin bird, like killing are these these uh the PGs uh, PGs and all these stuff. You, you have to be in farming to know that term. Are all these different types of uh, diseases that are cutting off everyone. As though he's using Esau even to genetic uh, But though Noah, Daniel, and Joe were in it, in it, as I live, said the Lord, they shall be delivered, neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own soul by their own righteousness. So we seeing all these things going down through our through listening to the Lord, our righteousness has filthy rats. Let's get that straight. But listening to the Lord and obedience is better than the sacrifice of ram horns. As he said to David, or I think Saul, uh, no, to Saul, because right after he said, that's how I will reject you from being king. So all these things calling, um, and all these things they're doing, uh, the Lord is put in forfeit, uh, so we can see it and know what we should. Because uh, Psalms, the 91st chapter says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fire and from the noiseling pestilence. So it's just continue to go forth and put forth. Uh, you drop down a little bit in that verse, and it's at verse 6. And none for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. So all these things are going. The Lord is delivering us through all this. All this. The Lord is causing a thing and all that stuff so Esau Edom can set up. Because he has put a diligent search. His MOTB system, which is, I'm going to end off with this. Because I, I, so lucky I was scoring and not looking them up. Just saying this, getting the scriptures because I got to go. Uh, this is Revelation 13, verse 16. And he caused all both, verse 15. And he had power to give life onto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast, the both speaking and lying. So even, even, even these because you know he uses policies to put these governments, I mean these uh, companies and corporate government. They say, "Oh, you can't do this on my platform. You can't do this," and then all towards to put this the, the modern day Roman system, and it caused many that would not worship the image of the to be killed. So now it's going to be for cutting off, not talking, then sending them to jail, and actually, uh, actually, uh, uh, executed them. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive an MRAK. And the right hand and the forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, say he that have the M R A K in the name of the beast and the number of this name. So, you know, they're putting forth these things so they can put forth this system like you can't talk about it, you'll get put to jail, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. This is what they're doing to set forth their system to bring forth the family of the word, bring forth. That the Bible is the 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 turn evil good woe well unto them the turn evil to good, and all the the they're setting up, and that's why now it's a deadlier one coming. You better the only how you're gonna defend it is you gotta take that M R I K and that juicy juice it helps you be able to establish that, and then you don't have that grievous sore, and then you, the Lord's gonna judge you and you're gonna die the death of the heathen to any of our people. So with that, I'm gonna and then you already know the R F I. You know, RFID chip, that is the MLTB. So with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praise to Yahweh Shem Yashem, Yashem Kachdash, the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yashem, the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yashem, and so on.